hi guys welcome to my youtube channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel so in today's video we are learning something different today we are learning how to make a santa hat how to make christmas cap ourselves like it is a diy so the material we need the first thing we need is our fabric yes we need the fabric though we are not using this whole fabric hole we are just using little out of it like we are using like half a yard or something the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to open up our fabric and lay it flat that's the first thing we'll do like we'll lay, some people actually cut both sides once but some people just cut it like just one side and cut the other one but instead we are going to cut in just one side first and cut the other one so we need two measurements that's our head circumference and our heart height so this is the side we are going to place our head circumference measurements that side we are going to place it so my head circumference is 22 we are going to divide it into two one divide 22 into two it gives us 11 that's what we will do first like when you get your head circumference measurement you divide it into two and that is 11 so you are going to measure 11 on your fabric and you add an inch like you add one inch to it for sewing allowance do you get so that is making it tough then we are going to mark the points of it i hope you understand what i'm trying to like you are going to mark that point of that 12 that is 11 and that extra allowance that we added so the next thing we are going to do is our art height like we'll be the one to determine our art like the length of our art height like we are going to know how long we want it to be so me i'll be using 25 inches do you get so we are going to mark it at the middle not at the side we are going to mark like that point at the middle then the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to cut out a triangular shape out we are going to do a triangular shape on our fabric and we'll cut that thing out. But for us to get it at the middle, go, 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 to get an exact triangle, we are going to, we know that our head circumference is 12, then the half of 12 is 6. We are going to measure 6 on that point, like on that 25 point, on that uh, at height point. We are going to measure 6 out. Then we'll draw our triangle and we'll cut it out. So that's the next step we are going to do. Jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jing, 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 jingle bells, jing, 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 jingle bells, jing, 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 jingle bells. So after cutting it, you place it on the fabric again and cut the other side. You know we are using two sides, like we need two sides to be able to achieve our Christmas side. So we will place it on the other fabric, then cut it out. Now we have our two sides of um the fabric now we have the two sides then we are going to pin it down before we take it for sewing like we will pin it down so that we won't make any mistake before we take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew it so the next thing we'll do after sewing it is that we are going to cut out the excesses like the excesses should be left from what we see out so we are going to cut it because we want our work to be very neat so we are going to trim that part out so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to fold it once. We'll fold it once. And the usefulness of this thing is that we are trying to make a very strong band along the perimeter of the edge. So we'll fold it once and we'll seal it. Merry Christmas. Hey. After achieving that, the next thing you are going to do is that we are going to turn our fabric out. You know that. So this one will be the like inside, then we'll turn it out. So you can use our scissors to turn it out, like to bring that edge out, or we can use this too to bring it out. So you use to bring that other like the edge for it to be neat and clean. So you use we can use this too, or we should use our scissors, like the tip of our scissors to bring it out. So when we are done with that one. So the next thing we'll be needing after that part is our feather. So in today, we use the fluffy white feather. It is not compulsory to use this feather. You can also use your four, your four material, so it does not matter. Like, but in today's video, we used our um fluffy white feather to achieve that thing. <laughs>
Christmas. Hey. So this is our result after sewing the feather to the fabric. So the next thing we need is our pom pom. We can actually use the feather we used, or we can make use of the yarn. But today, like you can, if you want to use this one, you just cut out the size of the pom pom you need, then you attach it. But in today's video, we'll not be using this feather. We'll be using the yarn. That is what we'll be needing for this video. So for us to get like a good pom pom, we are going to tie the feather. We are going to roll it. Around our hand, like we roll everything around our hand to get a better. Still